So for my lesson, I am doing data and probability, and so this is my presentation, pigs at odds. My objectives are going to be understanding data sets and then creating graphs using that data. And this fulfills the standard 3.D.1.1, and that's summarize and construct a data set with multiple categories using a frequency table, line plot, pictograph, and or bar graph with scaled intervals. For my hook and exploration activity, I'm going to put small packages of M&Ms on the students' desks, and they are going to sort the colors of the M&Ms and put them all on this sheet of paper. So they would write tally marks for each one. And then after they sort all of those, then they're going to answer all the questions down below. Um, and I have written those instructions right here. So this would be the, uh, what gets shown on the smart board as students are walking in. So after they do that activity, I decided to write down some questions for the students to talk about with in their groups or among their peers to just think about what does this activity have to do with what we might be learning today. All right, so now we're gonna talk about probability and I have this nice nifty anchor chart here. And this talks about how important data and probability are to go together. So we use fractions, which we have learned in the past to represent probability. So in this one, the likelihood of getting yellow is completely unlikely, 0%, zero out of four. And so if we move on down to D here, it's three out of four on the whole circle, so that's going to be 75%. Now, we can use what we just learned about graphs to put all of that data into a graph like these. So now that I've shown you what the anchor chart is, I wanna talk about what is probability. Probability is the chance or percent that something will happen. So now that we know and we have this background on graphs and probability and how to read probability and how to put data into graphs, I am going to read a little bit out of this book called Pigs at Odds. This first page that we're going to look at, this family doesn't know whether they want to do games or rides first. So they decide to flip a coin. So let's say that we are trying to get heads and we are flipping a coin so that means that the probability is going to be one out of two or 50 percent so the probability of getting heads is going to be 50 percent and the probability of getting tails is also going to be 50 percent the second page that we're going to look at is a birthday game the parents decide that they want to play this birthday game and the sign says 25 cents on your month wins well, they decide to put 50 cents down on two different months. So that gives them, instead of a 1 in 12 chance, a 2 in 12 chance, or 1 sixth. So now that we have read the book, I want to point out some other patterns that we're going to be using in the activity today. These patterns include colors of balloons, types of carnival stands, and what each carnival stand costs, because some of them cost different things, like money or tickets. So our activity today, we're going to be making a graph, and it is going to look like this, but on a bigger scale. So we're going to be making a graph of what the family does at the carnival, or one of these categories. So there's going to be four categories. I'm going to split you guys up into four groups, and you are all going to come up with a big poster graph that we're going to be able to hang around the room with the four different types of graphs that we learned today. So on mine, I used what the pig family did at the carnival. So I put it up here as well so you can see it better. But so I wrote down how many rides they went on, how much food they ate, the games that they played and other booths. So yours are going to be a little bit different than mine, even though it's the same category. After you make your graphs, you're going to present with your group and just tell a little bit about your graph. They're going to be hung up around the room until the end of this unit. And then that's what I'm going to be grading, like that's what's going to be for a grade. And then the participation grade for today is that everybody is going to answer a few questions for me. 
On a piece of notebook paper, I want each person to write down the answer to these three questions. And these are going to be your exit ticket for the day so that I know that you were paying attention. The first one we have, what is a line plot? You can draw the line plot, you can explain it to me, but I just need something so that I know that you were paying attention today. Um, and then we have this little question down here. It's more of a vocab question. What is needed to make a graph? And then this one is about the book that we read. So if 10 players are playing at the water balloon game, what are the odds of winning? And that's all I need for the rest of the day. So just to recap this lesson, I want to make sure that we met our objectives. So the first objective that we have is understanding data sets. And we did this by using our anchor chart and learning what graphs are and how to read probability and how to make sure that our probability matches our fractions. And so our second objective is creating graphs and using data. And you guys presented your graphs and you made very, very colorful and wonderful graphs. So I believe that we met that objective as well. So thank you for sitting through my lesson and I loved each and every one of your posters.